Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about telehealth. It's probably one of the most expensive programs to create into your agency. And this is for you medical home health agencies. But guess what guys, even though this is probably the where you would need to have a more of an investment into this type of program, but at the very same time is if you market it correctly, you guys are gonna be able to stand out. So let's go ahead and get talk about telehealth, okay? Then let's get started. So once again, it's Michael with Home Health with Success Academy, right? So a lot of the questions that I get is what is telehealth? What really is telehealth? So a lot of agencies are still confused what this is all about. Well, telehealth is a new way for us to be able to monitor patients, even though our clinical team is not with them. So remotely, we're going to be able to receive information as long as we can properly teach our patients how to use these products. We will leave pretty much a blood pressure kit, a weighing scale, an O2 set machine, or even a blood sugar checker, right? And we leave it with the patient so that they can actually take it and take their information at the same time as it's going to be transmitted to us. So we can also have diabetic patients, like I said, have their results, their daily blood sugar AccuCheck results sent to us, and it will notify us if the parameters goes above or goes below than what we want. And so with this is we can clinically be able to be proactive if they're gaining too much weight, if they're getting more than five pounds or lost more than five pounds, especially for the CHF patients. So let's go ahead and talk about what are the benefits of home health telehealth, okay? So as the U.S. population ages, well, people are going to be better educated, more comfortable with the use of technology, right? And most want to be able to live in their homes for as long as possible. And at the same time, as more people have chronic conditions that will consume ever more of the nation's health dollars. There's a lot of money being spent through hospitalization. So this is coinciding with the critical shortage of nurses and other healthcare professionals out there for the population. So healthcare providers are forced to do more with less and our reimbursements at the same time as decreases and the focus on qualities and clinical outcomes increases, okay? So advances in telecommunication used in healthcare has been changing in the past decades. I mean, I'll tell you guys one thing. When I first started using telehealth programs, it cost us somewhere around between, you know, 700, between five to $700 for the initial setup. And then the equipments are expensive. But what's amazing now is within the past couple of years, the new telehealth systems are out there are so cheap now. So, you know, and then understand is that, yes, you were going to invent, invest this, right? Let's say, for example, it's going to cost me $300 for a brand new system for one patient, right? That has a weighing scale, uh, that has the main dock, that has the blood pressure cuff, that has the O2 sat machines and those stuff, right? So let's say that's, you know, that's our investment. But guess what? After we're done with that patient for 60 days, we can then have that cleaned up and then have it sent to another patient, you know, because guess what? If we can address those five pound weight gain, for example, with a CHF patient, you know, that can start causing them, you know, to start choking and they can't breathe as much. And then they have shortness of breath or O2 sat, their O2 sat drop. And then all of a sudden they end up in the ER, right? But if we can see the changes happening, we can address it right away. Remember in home health, not all our pay, our nurses are going to be there every day. It's pretty much going to be an hour visit or two hour worth of visits in a week. And then an, another therapy visit. So guess what? We don't have enough time to be front with the patient. And then sometimes they're stuck with a caregiver or a POA who unfortunately is not aware of what needs to be done for the patient. So having a telehealth program helps you understand right away. You can, you can see that the blood pressure is dropping. The blood pressure is increasing. There's changes in their O2 saturations. We can address it right away. And at the same time as, you know, a nice telehealth program with a nice medication reminder program in place, reminding them to take their medication makes it even better. So you guys understand if you're dealing with, especially with a lot of post-op clients, you know, somebody who's in there for pneumonia, some patient who was admitted because of their, you know, reoccurring chronic CHF that's going on, telling a facility, telling a, a hospital, a nursing home, a physician that you guys have this program, it's going to make you guys stand out. They literally made a study and approximately somewhere around two out of 10 agencies does have some form of a telehealth program. And so right there alone, you're beating approximately around 
80% of your competition already because you're having a program that makes you stand out. So what you guys need to do is you guys need to start putting together a telehealth program. Maybe do a quick assessment, looking at what type of patients are you guys taking care of. Do you see that this could be something that you should add to your whole program list? And if it is, then start practicing. I always say don't all of a sudden buy, let's say you have 100 patients, just buy all of a sudden 100 uh, of these um, systems, right? Don't do that. Start off with maybe five and then give the first five to the top, you know, the worst patients you guys have that always have, you know, reoccurring problems or, re or being sent back to the hospital. Try that program to see. Do it in a small amount. And as you go, as you get bigger and as you get more and more, then you can start adding maybe two or three of those every week or every month. And then until you have a nice steady base of a system set up. The only problem, honestly, that we felt we've had with a lot of these telehealth systems is that sometimes the patient loses it for some reason or the patient um, breaks it. And yes, that's the sucky part. But here's another thing that you guys can understand is there's a lot of other telehealth companies that can help you that they also have leasing programs or rental programs so then it can reduce the cost for this so sometimes you don't actually have to worry about purchasing these items because you can actually lease it per patient and then at the same time as if anything breaks anything happens they'll fix it they'll troubleshoot it for you guys so start thinking about a telehealth program to be added to your system to your home health agency because this is going to be vital for you guys it's going to make you guys stand out so once again, don't forget to click to the downstairs and with the other videos, watch other videos. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos, make comments down below, ask any questions. Our goal is to be able to help you guys. Home health marketing is always easy when you know what you're doing. And that's what we're doing is giving you the knowledge to make it easy for you.